Rotopen from Prodad is a plugin that comes with Video Studio Ultimate X6. To use Rotopen, let's drag a map into the timeline. I want to follow one of these highways with a car. Let's go to my filters. You'll notice when you installed Ultimate that a number of additional filters were installed. Let's pick Rotopen and drag that onto my clip. By default, it shows an airplane with a path, showing you what the Rotopen filter does. To modify the filter, double click on the clip and under the Attribute tab, pick Rotopen and click Customize Filter. Here you have a half tone view of the image below as well as a mouse pointer showing you where you can draw the path. So holding down your left mouse button, drag your mouse along the highway to your destination. And a preview will show at the bottom left of your screen. So let's go to next. The next thing I want to do is change the way my path looks. So I'm going to pick red. Again, the preview will show at the bottom left of your screen. I also want to pick a symbol that follows the path. So clicking on the symbol tab, you'll see the traveler symbol layout here. And it has a number of symbols that come with Rotopen. You can also use your own symbol by clicking on load image. I'm going to use a convertible. In the preview now, you'll see a convertible will be following the path, but it's not turning with the curves. I would like it to turn with the curves. To do that, I click on Retrace Route, and it will show me different options of how my icon will follow the path. Rolling over each icon will give you a preview. I'll pick this one. Now in the preview, you'll notice that the convertible will be turning with the curves. Once you're done, click Apply. By scrubbing on the timeline, you'll see now the convertible is following the highway to the destination. To increase the duration of this path following, click on the clip and drag the end. Rotopen will interpolate the new length. To add another path to Rotopen, double click on the clip, go back to the Rotopen filter, and click Customize. Your original path is still showing. Let's make a new path. Using your mouse and your left mouse button, drag along the highway to your destination. Click on Next. Select your new path. Let's use a different path this time and a different symbol. And let's retrace the route correctly. Now you'll notice the preview will do my first car and my, and my second vehicle. So here's my motorcycle going through the new path. When this is done, click Apply. Now as I scrub through the map, You'll notice I get to my destination first, and my friend gets there second. 